wants to take my jeep which is mine and I tell her no and then she says that she would have taken it anyway you know and I just don't really care for that you know all right so we we just yeah we had a walk out to a fight as I was talking about you know when you know it wasn't good. She yelled at me because I took the car the last time and then I had to go through to the impound to get it out. And I wanted to drive it home, but she said no. It was just a bunch of nonsense, you know. They didn't really care for it, you know. Well, yeah, you know, we just got into a fight or whatnot, and then she hit me first. So then I hit her back because if you're going to fight like a man, you gonna get hit like a man, and that's my philosophy, you know, I don't like to hit women, but if you come up to me and hit me like you a man, and she, she was talking all that game, but she tried to hit me and tried to control me, I ain't gonna take that, you know, I didn't go get me a man for stopping the yellow jack, you know, but yeah, you know, I ain't gonna take that for an answer, you know. Definitely not gonna take that for an answer. So we'll go inside and get us a bail. Lock my car. We'll go inside and get me a bail, talk to Bopper. You know, but yeah, you know, my shit been fast, and then I hit him back, because if you wanna fight like a man, then you gonna get hit like a man, and that's why I told her. Hey, Bubba, I'm here for a bear. Oh, it's out of the house, Miss Frostboy. I appreciate it. Oh, this black guy, and it's for the wife. And she hit me. And the wife, she hit me, you know, and it just wasn't good, you know. She hit me, and then, you know, she wanted to fight like a man, so I hit her back. I said, You want to fight like a man, you gonna get hit like a man, you know. And then she said, oh, you know, you can't do that. So I told them, Barbara. I got. I got. So then I hit her back. And then she's going to the ER, claiming that she hurt. You don't see me going to the ER. I'm just here getting a mail, you know. I got. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, Barbara. Yeah, I know. But this, but the day for the free bear though, this is definitely gonna help me out, you know. Make me feel a little bit better. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure I had a bumper. I'll definitely pay for the next one though. I appreciate Shit. it, Baba. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? What's going on with you, motherfucker? Hold up, bud. I was just talking to the local bar to the barber. Me and my wife got to a fight, I told her. Hey, I tell you something. What's she shaved the room with two black eyes? 
Oh yeah, I got black eyes because me and my wife got to a fight. So I said, what do you say to a woman that has two black eyes? Oh, I don't know. What do you say? Nothing. You done told that bitch twice already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sure did. She's in the ER. <laughs> She went to the ER. She claimed that she was hurt, but you don't see me going to the ER. I got a black guy, oh. and I'm here getting a bail. Hey, you got a black guy? Get on you, man. I'm all for that shit. Yeah, well, she hit me first, so you want to fight like a man? I'm going to hit you like Ooh. a man, you know? Well, I got somewhere else to be there, partner. <laughs> hey, Billy. Oh, hey, what's going on? What's going on, buddy? You all right? No, I, my, I got a black guy. My, my, my wife, she hit me. I got you. Well, do me a favor real quick. I just got to ask you a couple of questions. You're not in any trouble right now. I'm just trying oh, to get okay. a story figured out. You mind stepping outside with us? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be out right back, Barbara. All right. Is that for today? Whoa. 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 Jesus. Watch Good where you're night. driving. Yeah, you almost hit me. I moved out of the way at time. I didn't see him. I moved out of the way at time. stay standing? I moved out of way at time. I saw it coming. Sorry about that. Yeah, Those I'm... are strong legs. Well, yeah, yeah I, I used damn. to be in the military. Jesus, be careful, sir. There's a deputy know. behind. Yeah, okay. I'm not a deputy. Not close enough. Sorry. I My brain went LEO. Needed to throw the title out there so he knew. So, uh, so what's going hey. on today, Billy? We got the calls. Your wife's kind of making the same regard she did last time so what's going on today with her well you know we woke up this morning every day was good and whatnot you know we had a breakfast had a coffee and whatnot we we're talking but then she wanted to break up the fact that i took a car at one time and i said well that was the past and i haven't took it in a while and then she she started bringing up other stuff of, you know when we lived in another state you know and then she got up and started to you know you know, get angry with me. Then she swung on me. I ducked a few times when she finally hit me. I got a black eye on my right eye right here, you know. And then, you know, after she hit me and whatnot, she wanted to come swing at my ball. I told her, you want to fight like a man, you're going to hit like a man. So then I went and swung back at her, gave her a black eye, and then she started to cry, said that she's going to call the cops and she go to the ER, that I hit her, but she hit me first, so then I just left. Okay, I got you. And have you at any point been driving her car today no I, did, I never took a car as soon as i left i took my truck i don't even know her car is at she doesn't she hides them and parks them at friend's house you know her girlfriend's or whatever and then i don't know where they live and i i just don't want to drive them and get caught again and to say that it's stolen to go to jail i don't want to do that yeah the garden folks going on here yeah okay so so you ain't been in possession of it all you've just been driving this jeep around which i've I believe last time we ran it, I, I know it's registered to you, so. Oh yeah, this truck, yeah, this truck, my, she, yeah. she won most of my cars in the divorce, but I was able to keep two trucks, which one of them got stolen by someone out here, I don't know who took it, I reported that a while ago, but then I got my Jeep, What's and then she let do? me keep two of my muscle cars, that's it, she's got everything else, and she doesn't let me drive them. But that used to be mine, and I told her, well, you just want them in the divorce, that's not fair, why can't I drive them? They used to be mine, I bought them, but you just want them, that's not fair. Is that in her name? Oh yeah, it's in her name, because she, her lawyer, her schemed something up, and they took most of my cars away. She said that I don't uh, need them. You're, you're whispering, bud. Wait, what? You're, you're a little quiet, you're whispering. Well, how do I fix that? Uh... I think you'll have to look at your uh, muscle binds option. Usually, it's like your your F11 muscle. Are that better? Usually. Are but that, uh, are so that it's better? in her name. Oh yeah. I mean, legally, it's hers, you know. Oh, it used to be mine, though. Right, but. Just because you sell your car to the dealership and someone else buys it and you go and steal it doesn't make it yours, right? Oh, I guess, yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, well, I don't got it. I got my truck, so... I don't know. We're, we're just saying. I don't. But... I, uh... I might recommend getting, getting away from her if I was you, Billy. 
We'll see what we'll, we'll see we're divorced mm. and whatnot, but she she told me I can't leave her, but we're divorced that she still loves me and whatnot. But when I threaten to leave her to go to go back to my other house that I own a rocks wood, she tells me that she's gonna, you know, do things to me that I'm not gonna like. Well, how about this? How about you go take a trip up to the city? Go go stay in a hotel or motel, or something like that for a couple of days and let her cool down, okay? Alright, alright. I'll I'll do so. Just Get away. Don't tell where you're going. Just tell her you're going on this road. Alright. Sound good to me. Or don't okay. even tell her that. Just fall off the face of the earth. Oh, or yeah. Too. Yeah, I could do so. Well, what if she tries to find me, you know? Yeah, that, that's why. I mean, I wouldn't even tell her. Just, you know, find, find somewhere to go away, get back when you can, and hopefully that'll smooth things over. Yeah, well, we'll have to find out, you know? Yes, sir. Alright. Well, it, uh, I got... My other unit that's on this said that there's nothing that we need to uh, do anything further, so uh, so you're good to go about your day, man. All right, you guys have a good one. All righty, you sir, All take care. Great day. A few moments later. Well, we're gonna get out of here, you know. The cops came and tried to say that, you know. I guess I'm just gonna go home, get some stuff, and go to a motel or game. I'll just head back home and go get some stuff out of the trailer, you know. Maybe I'll come by and see Dave. Cause uh, I've been leaving for a while to get out of town. For being a while past some trouble, you know, and I'm not trying to go to jail, but hopefully she doesn't show back up at the trailer, you know. That'd be remember by the time ball she showed up back at the trailer, you know. Well, we'll just go back, I guess, you know. Didn't really tell Barbara what was going on, you know. Oh, what did that guy do? Going up to the daughter. We're just gonna go back up to my home. You know, well, my wife told Marvin, maybe I'll go. Well, I can't go there, but she don't go bust up the whole ass. That's not good. I'll grab some of my things. With, with Bob or something? Like, would we be having this talk? You don't make what, eyes am I at sleeping Bob. with Bob? You don't make eyes at Bob like you make eyes at Clarissa. Oh. Every time she walks in a room, it's the same deal. Come on. That's it. Listen, I have had enough. I have had enough of what? Had I enough am of going what? back to my mother. Oh, okay? come on. Oh, please. It's been two months, and I cannot Plus, you're going to drive 300 miles to your mother's place? I would rather sleep at my mother's place. Oh, come here with on. You. Oh, please. Oh, please. This is so ridiculous. I mean, we had to work out some custody. Clarissa chances. knows like... exactly what she is doing, all right? She uses John, and she puts him in the middle between you, and she just rubs no. you in every oh, single please. time. Like, we have I a kid just... together. We, I do have responsibilities Listen. as a father. You asked me to marry As you again. Parent. I am not going to marry you and Clarissa. I am sick of putting up with her bull. This um, is ridiculous. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look, look. Um, I'll make it really easy for you, all right? 
No, what? I'm going to make it easy for you. Yeah. No, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm not listening anymore. I'm oh, sick of listening. please, come on. We this, go through this, this every My, uh, my truck. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, oh, oh. I forgot what the my door. Oh. Bailey, can you hear me? Oh, my leg. Is oh. is is she inside? No, she took off with her car. She said that she's gotta go away for the cops come. Okay. Are you on fire? No, she tried to set me on fire. She sets okay. her, she sets the fireworks off and they hit okay. my... Well, could one of you grab a fire extinguisher and put that little ground fire out? She, 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 she rolled my truck. I got you. So, are, are you injured anywhere, bud? Oh, I'm just a little banged up. I just I don't want to get up. It kind of hurts a little. Okay. All right, just stand still for me real quick. Let me just look over you and make sure you're all good here. Sandy one six eight looks like will be sufficient for now. Thank you, sir. Oh. Okay. So yeah, you're you're banged up a little bit, a little bit here. We'll see if we can't maybe stop this bleeding and then try to find out kind of what's going on and and all that fun stuff. Sound good to me. Is it so? What kind of vehicle was she in? Oh, uh, she was in that tool up. In a what? She was in a tool up. A tune up? No, a tool up. Yeah, like a tool up? Yeah, kind of like a flower almost, I guess. I don't know. It's like a two door muscle car. It's got like a stripe. It's the one you guys pulled me over with before. The, the license plate says okay. Daisy. Kind of that, that older car. Oh, yeah. Is it black with a white stripe? Yeah, I thought it's got, well, it's like a dark blue, but not blue with a white stripe. Okay. And so you said, what, so what happened? You guys get in, got into an argument and she, oh, like, we, uh, hit you and well, all that? Yeah, well, we got to the argument this morning. She hit me first, and then she started swinging more on me, and then she was talking all this nonsense. And I said, you want to fight like a, fem you want to fight like a man? You got to get hit like a man. So I swung on her, but as soon as I hit her, she gets on the floor crying and says I abused her. She called the cops, and then she could hit me, though. So then, you know, she went to the ER, and then the cops saw me at the bar. They told me that I need to get out of town, so I came back here and get some clothes. And then she came back, and then she said, what are you doing? I said, get some clothes. She said, where do you think you're going? And I said, know your business. And then she just started, and then all this happened. Okay. I gotcha. Do you by any chance have, like, cameras here or anything like that? No, I, I don't okay. got that much to afford for cameras. I gotcha. I, I didn't I didn't figure you did, but I figure it couldn't hurt to ask. Oh, another box of cameras out here. Okay. And what's your wife's name? Her name's uh, Daisy. Daisy Willie. Daisy Willie, you said? I got. Okay. Oh, right. She, she, she's, my, she's my ass wife, but she wants to keep my last name for some reason because she claims that she still loves me. But if she loves me, she will be doing this to me. Okay, I got you. All right. Um, 
I'm probably gonna get a can of the ambulance down here to to tick you out. Um, is there where is all the stuff that she used on you? Oh, you you should see some of the fire that she tried to set by me by uh, the car over there. There there should be some like flowers she tried to light off on me too. Okay. Should be all over the floor I over gotcha. there by the corner where my truck's all messed up. Cause I think the fireworks were hitting the back of my bag when they were lighting off. Okay. I hear you. All righty, man. So I'm a. I'm gonna get an ambulance down here for you. We're gonna kind of do an investigation up here and see if we can't find her. Oh, I appreciate. It. Yeah, I want to go get checked out. All right. Sandy one six eight. Give me county medical nine five nine. Oh, do what? Hopefully you guys find her though. I hope so, cause I know last time we kind of ran into the situation, you had mentioned that she was. Kind of doing some jank stuff like this, so. Oh yeah, she was, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I lived in Roxwood most of my life. I met her. She lived out here. When we got together, she just told me that she was tired of me going to the junkyard and buying all these cars and fixing them up. I got too many cars. But then she divorces me, and then she takes all the cars and gloats that she's got all these cars, and yet she used to complain that I had all those cars. Gotcha. And then she says she loves me, but she doesn't want me to leave. But yeah, she doesn't want me. Well, but I don't make any to say it, you know. Gotcha. Okay. Um, looks like County Ambulance was uh, involved in an accident. Uh, so we'll call a backup County County Unit, and uh, they'll just have to whisk you away. And oh yeah, okay. Oh, they're here. Oh, hey guys, yes, pick me up. Oh, okay. Yeah, be careful. My leg kind of hurt. Later. Oh, oh, this ain't good. Yep, it's the car to look for. This is what they're looking for. <laughs> yes, honey. What's going on? <laughs> uh, what is it after you pull me over for today, honey? He's the one who was taking my cars. See, he's... What's going on, honey? I hate it, the UFC. <laughs> hey, how we doing tonight? Hey, what's going on, officer? Not too much. Hey, so, uh, reason I'm stopping you is because I clocked you doing 68 over the, uh, the bridge down there. Do you mind if I get your license and registration from you? Oh, yeah, let me give it to you, officer. One second. All right. Also, why are you holding a cone? Daisy Willie, and I don't know why I got this code. I just picked it up at the gas station. The guy gave it to me, honey. Oh, okay. Alrighty, sounds good. I'll be right back with you, alright? Alright, so, so good.
<laughs> Why you hold the code? I don't know how to put the code out. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the information they need. I told them it was like a midnight black. Well, they said black. But it's midnight blue. It's got the white stripe. It's the older car. It's the tulip. I mean, this is what it's called. It's a D class tulip. See? Impaler. Impaler tulip. Alrighty, Miss Play. Will you do me a favor and come back to my vehicle? I got some questions for you. Oh, sure, honey. One second. Just let me turn the car off. Alright. I don't know why I got this cone. <laughs> I mean, if you're able to put it down, I mean, you know. I'll just hold it. Okay. So, what <laughs> all's going on today? Your, your husband called and said that you guys are maybe having some issues. Yeah, I, I brought up this, the fact that he took my car at one time and all that, and then he started getting all defensive about it, and then he went to go swing on me, so I swung on him. I connected first, and then he connected. So then I went to the hospital, yeah. got my eye checked out, whatnot, and then I called you guys, and then I went back, and then he he, he got some gasoline out, and he said he was going to set me on fire, and then he got fireworks out, whatnot, and then he set himself on fire, and I just left. Okay, you just left. You didn't think to call 911 or help or anything like that? Uh, I, I didn't really care, to be honest with you, because he's the one that did it to himself. He tried killing me, so, you know, that's on him. Or maybe he just tried to injure me. I don't know. I just got out of there, honey. Okay. And was everything left up there at the house? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't take anything. I mean, all he had was his clothes and everything. I don't know where he was going. Okay. I asked oh, him, right and he said he couldn't tell me. He said that you fine officers told him to go do something. Okay, I gotcha. So, do me a favor real quick. If you will just stand in front of my car and face my vehicle. Uh, yeah, sure, honey. Okay. So, if you can just go ahead and put that cone down for me. Uh, I don't know how to put the cone down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's your uh, X muscle if I... If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. All right. So for right now, I am just detaining you. All right. We are in the middle of an investigation. Um, so we are being detained until we can come to a resolution of this. All right. Okay, honey. All right. Do you have anything on you that I need to be aware of before I place you in a vehicle? No, just my, my keys and some caches in the car. That's all I got on me. All right. Still keen on track at Questman, Joshua, 10 12. Ooh, watch where you're putting your hands, officer. I got I use them in the back of my hands, man, so <laughs> just for that reason there. Alright, watch your head as you step inside the vehicle here. Okay, honey. <laughs> watch where you put your hands, officer. <laughs> Alright. Um I'm gonna talk to you on pay here, sir. <laughs> Oh, I can't hear them too far away. Oh. No, can't hear them. <laughs> okay, traffic news. <laughs> okay. I'm just seeing if they're gonna put something in the skybox. <laughs> I mean, she obviously did it. She gaslighted the fuck out of those cops and said that she didn't do it, but she did it. She definitely did it. 
but see it's a heat it's a two-sided story you know Alrighty, man. Um, so, let me get in here so you can hear me. That'd probably be a good place to start. Alright, man. So, here's the deal. Um, with everything we got, you are going to be arrested today. Um, it is going to be... It is going to be for assault. Um, and however far it goes after that will be obviously up to the courts, okay? Oh, uh, alright, honey. So, what's going to happen to my car? So... So it'll be impounded um, whenever the time comes around that you're able to get it. Um, you can call um, Floyd's Tow in there. I don't can't remember the exact name of the company, but you can call them because they do the work for us, um, and you can get it released for a for a oh. fee there. Oh, okay, Hardy. All right. Did you want to have county transport, or do you want me to? Oh, you can take my Hardy. I'll buy it. Okay. Let me get. A uh, tow truck on the way for your vehicle, and then we'll get you going down here so you can get on about your day, alright? Alright, honey. I appreciate it. reason why I fuck up sometimes when I'm doing that guy's driving by again, you know, stalking the scene. The reason why I fuck up sometimes when I'm, uh, you know, sitting there, you know, typing is I try not to look at my keyboard. I mean, there's times I can't type that it's good, but there's, you know, times where I, I definitely do mess up. You see it, but I try not to look at it. Apparently Floyd was tied up, so I had to call his brother, brother Bloyd to come and get it. Oh, okay. Well, his business ain't far, is it? No, it's just right, uh, actually right behind us there. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. All right. And let's see here. You said your name was Daisy Willie? Yeah, my name's Daisy Willie. W Billy tried telling me that I need to change it after we got divorced, but I like the last name Willie. I got you. It's better than my last name I had before, Crockerfield. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's why I told Billy, but he doesn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess sometimes you can't you can't help but make up the run. Yep. Sh sure can't, honey. <laughs> Uh, Billy, Billy Daisy got to altercation, you know. The last time when I stole the car, I didn't record it. I, I think I think you two that. should probably stay away from each other, I'd say. But I love them. Well, <laughs> sometimes if you love somebody, it's better to 
you know, the old adage, if you left something, set it free. Well, see, that's the thing. I did set him free, and he came back. I got you. Well, we told him the same thing we were talking to him earlier, was it's probably best that you guys just, you know, try to find somewhere else to lay flow. For oh, so that's where he was going. I, kn I, knew he, I knew he said something about you guys telling him to do something. Yeah, we told him it was probably just better to leave you alone for the night, considering... Obviously, you guys didn't seem to be getting along too well. Well, that can't happen. He can't leave me alone. He can't be out of my sight. Well, why's that? Because he's not trustworthy. So wouldn't that mean you want to leave him? If he's not trustworthy, why would you want to put yourself in that position well, that you got to worry about him? See, he wasn't like that until he met some guy named Dave. Dave who? Uh, Foresight. Okay, I got you. He's like a fat guy, and, you know, they, they drive around and hang out a lot together now. I don't know why. He's no good. He's no good. Yeah, I've, I've ran into Dave a couple times. Yeah, you should lock him up and keep him behind the bars. Don't let him out. Well, hopefully they'll... <laughs> I mean, I doubt it, but hopefully they'll separate from each other. I doubt it. They seem like best friends now. Right, man, we'll set on inside here. All right. <laughs> Over here, man. Okay, honey. All right, and let's we'll go to this first one here. Okay. All right, I'll take your handcuffs off here. I appreciate it. They're kind of hurting me. <laughs> yeah, they're not super comfy. No, I've never really been in cuffs before. Well, hopefully this will be the last time. I'm hoping that next time you guys will both make better decisions. That way we don't got to be here, you know? Yeah, I understand, honey. All right, man. Well, I'm going to get this paperwork typed up and... uh Hopefully the county will be here down a second to get you, and hopefully your day gets better. Alrighty. Yeah, I hope it gets better, too. I appreciate it. Have a good one, officer. Thank you, too. <laughs> oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Billy Willie's in the hospital. Uh, you know, uh... Daisy is in jail for what she did to her husband for the time being. They don't know if it's true, but I think I got some backstory that she's gonna, you know, uh, she's gonna, you know, make it out of prison, you know. She's not gonna fully go to prison or whatever, you know. She's gonna make it out, and it's charges ain't gonna be there because there's no proof, you know. It comes back, the ER, you know, they came back with the test results, and yeah, it is confirmed that Billy did not set himself on fire. Someone tried to set him on fire. And then someone tried to set fireworks off of him. So they know that it wasn't Billy that did that, but she claimed it wasn't her. And the ER called 911, let them do what they found of the information. But she's going to go to court and try to testify herself. She's going to get a good lawyer, you know, kind of like how, you know, my other characters make sticky flowers and dicky icky cheese get, you know. They always get out of fucking those gangs, man, because those fucking pigs are always hassing them. <laughs> but yeah, no, she'll get out and then she'll find Billy, you know. I think it's gonna end up to eventually, you know. Eventually, it's gonna be to where, you know, it's gotta be when Dave, when goddamn it, Danny, my brother Dickie's on, you know, and he's playing as Dave, you know. He'll be as Dave, you know, me, me and her will get into our altercation. I kill her or something, you know, and then cops get called, they find her dead, Billy's gone, I go to a different location, you know, and spawn that Billy got away, you know, and then basically, you know, then afterwards, you know, call Dave, hey, I need you to come pick me up, and then, you know, be riding with Dave, and I'll tell Dave the whole story, so if we get pulled over, I tell Dave, you're gonna have to get me out of that, you know, how to get rid of her, she was causing all that stuff, you know, and then my lawyer, you know, we, we, we schemed and cooped up some plans, you know, we got all my cars back, so she no longer owns any of those cars, so then I'll just go back and find all the cars that Billy used to own and actually have and 
you know, Scott Valley, you know, the other survivors in before I came over here and whatnot, you know, basically, then he'll get all those amazing cool cars back, and then he'll, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll have his car collection back, and he'll move physically fully back to Roxwood. <laughs> And then say screw that trailer, screw Daisy. Daisy will be marked in, you know, the system as dead, you know. And yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, bring Daisy's wife along to see what this would do, you know. <laughs> Good story so far. So, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. All I need is half a chance, a second thought, a second glance of proof. I got what I